yeah, so I'll um, just wait in the garden. And then I've got a date for this. Mm. Yeah. You have many bodybuilders in it? Yeah. Yeah? This is well in check, yeah? Sports. They yeah, do yeah, sports, yeah. yeah. Testosterone or yeah. insulin? Or yeah, it's normal. Yeah, I think it's probably a little bit higher than normal. For the quarter, the training and pulse monitoring test. Obviously. I just want to ask you a few questions here because they need some money. Yeah. Obviously, that would be really quick. What okay. network are you currently on? Three. Oh, are you with three? Three. Can you currently pay for your mobile phone? Is it on pay as you go or are you on a contract? On that contract life, that 50 G's, baby. So you have a contract? Do you spend more or less than 15 pounds? Obviously more. Great, more than 15 pounds. How long do you have left on your contract? Are you a robot? That's an actual robot. Oh my god, that was a robot. She's sad. Look, 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 you're still talking. Stretch him out. I'm talking. What's the date? Oh my god, she's a robot. That didn't sound like a robot. The article came out last week that in yeah. 20 years we'll be sleeping with robots. Sleeping with a robot. That's like, oh, she's had enough. The robot's had enough. I was going to say, it's like Jamie's sleeping next to me. She's sleeping next to a robot. Third time we're doing it. Confirm why I'm not pregnant. I confirm, confirm. I got fifth in men's novice. Uh -huh. So yeah, not too bad. Invites us to nationals, but really? Yeah, I ain't doing that. How come? I'm not a bodybuilder. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. It was okay, I enjoyed the dying down in the process, but uh -huh. all that work for a couple of minutes on stage. Yeah, I know, sir. So. I was 78.4. Yeah. What time did you use? I had the, the A1 tanning, so they tanned me there, so I oh, went okay. the night before and then like 12 noon on the day. <laughs> body mass the last time when I was a lot fatter so I thought if I was gonna maintain it I've been during that first lot. So we've got so from your last scan uh -huh. so midway through prep you're down by around five and a half kilos mm -hmm. of fat and down by around 2.2 of muscle. Okay. So still a, a big drop. Yeah so still a little bit lean off but then from your baseline so from the first week of your prep mm -hmm. you're from fat you're down by pretty much eight kilos um, by pretty yeah, pretty much eight kilos. Um, sorry, 13.4 13, 13 kilos from your baseline, yeah. and then lean by around 4.2. Mm -hmm. So a huge drop of fat from your from your first first scan. Yeah, which is really really good. Um, which is why your fat mass index is now at 3.09. So on the table, it'll be right right down the bottom. So you're almost on the first percentile for your fat mass index. <laughs> so what's the lowest fat mass index you've seen? Yours is actually the lowest one that I've seen. The, the lowest fat mass index that, that I've, I've had anyone um, on the table with. So you should, be, uh, you should be pretty pleased with that. Almost bang on the first percentile. Nice. Which is really, really low. Correct your life. You want one, Tom? Yeah, go on. Oh, there's only two left. Blue and green should never be seen. Blood test result time. So at the start of my prep, I had my bloods done. I went to a slightly different place because they charged an arm and a leg, even though this one is still expensive. So there's a few things which are on the first test which are not on the second one. Um, and disclaimer alert, when I had the first one done, it was when I started lifting again. I'd done a boom cycle class, boom ting, and I was dommed up to the max. Doms is delayed onset muscle soreness. Hence why some of my readings were slightly elevated on that first blood test. So, Quite interesting. I'm going to compare my results to the natural bodybuilding case study, which I discussed in the first blood test result. My cortisol level has decreased. So going through a nine month prep and going and being in a caloric deficit, my stress levels, my cortisol levels went down. 
um, in the Vosso study, the natural bodybuilding uh, case study, which looked at six months prior and then six months post competition, his cortisol levels actually increased as he got on stage. My high, uh, my good cholesterol, my HDL actually went up and my LDL went down, bad cholesterol. Shouldn't say good or bad, because I think it's like good or bad foods. Uh, my creatinine, not creatine, even though that did go up <laughs> on prep, uh, actually went up as well. My testosterone level started off at 19.6. Now, in the Rosso study, Americans have a different testosterone range between minimum and high. So if you are American, my testosterone would be through the roof starting off. It was 19.6 and went down to 10.2. Now, I think the minimum was seven. So I didn't completely smash my testosterone to bits from dieting for nine months. However, my free testosterone was extremely low. It did have a little asterisk next to that. But my sex, what was it, Tom? Sex. sex hormone binding globulin. Thank you, Tom. My sex hormone binding globulin actually was higher than the maximum on what they give as a recommendation. So this could be a reason why I was still show day, maybe. Free testosterone down, everything else up. Um, and that's it really. So a few little things there which we would expect and my testosterone didn't crash completely, however my free testosterone did and my cortisol levels actually decreased. I think this could be that when I started prep, I was a 100 kg fat mess, uh, high estrogen levels which obviously decreased and that is probably one of the things that maybe my blood results have not changed significantly or been slightly different because I started off at 100 kg. Done in it. Don't need no more than that. What about my insulin? Oh, let's talk about insulin. Insulin. Mm -hmm. Insulin on the first one. Yeah. Was seven. Seven. And insulin on the second one. Three point two. <laughs> Keep it in. Keep it in, isn't it? Seven, three point two. Insulin sensitivity. Um, what other one was there? That was it, wasn't it? News just in, DEXA scan results. I know what you're thinking. Is he six percent body fat? We'll soon find out. So my first scan on the first of February and I had twenty four point four percent body fat. On the 10th of May, I went back and my body fat dropped down to 18.2%. And my recent DEXA scan, which was on the 2nd of October, I was 13.1%. So as you can see and from the stage photos, that is a guy who has 13% body fat, not four, five or 6%. Next, fat mass. So I had a total of 24 kgs of fat on my body which then dropped down to 16. And then currently, as you see me here today, I have 10.5 kilograms of fat mass on my body. So now let's take a little look at my lean mass. So I started off with 71.2 kg of lean mass. And then on the 10th of May, my lean mass dropped by two kilograms. And on my recent scan, I lost another two kilograms of lean mass. So lean mass is everything apart from like fat, etc. So it could be water weight um, and other things along the lines of those. Now my fat free mass index, so a good indicator of what people say is 25 is the natural limit. I started off at 20.9. So those of you who said, do you even lift? I obviously lift a little bit, but not to my full potential. My uh, fat-free mass index did drop to 20.3, and then on my latest DEXA scan, 19.7. So what do, can I take from this? One, I'm not 5-6% body fat. Two, I still have a lot of muscle mass I can put on my frame, which is good news because it means I can lift more and eat more, 
but sensibly. So that's my plan now. There is no off season, it's just lifting more, eating more, doing less cardio. Very simple. And in regards to the body fat percentage, the reason why you're thinking you're not 13.1% is because if I just suddenly put on two kilograms of lean body mass, my body fat percentage would drop down significantly. However, the amount of fat mass my body has would stay exactly the same. So a good indicator could be my fat mass index. And when I started the prep, I was in the 75th percentile, so I was fat. And at the end of my prep, the guy who done the scan uh, said I was the had the least amount of fat, my fat mass index, that he has seen. Um, and that was around 3.09. So I went from the 75th percentile to the first percentile. So basically 99% of people which have had a DEXA scan at Bodyscan UK have been fatter than moi. Good? If you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, but the whole natural bodybuilding prep series, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend. I'm just a guy who isn't a bodybuilder, who's done a bodybuilding competition, and it took me nine months. I found it easy. I enjoyed the process. I didn't really enjoy the stage, but if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And get ready for the transformation. Get ready for the transformation.